Ford Focus 2012 through 2018, two liter Duratec or two liter EcoBoost fuel injector replacement. The front of the vehicle has been removed for clarity. Okay. Reason for replacing these fuel injectors is this uh, vehicle will not start and I can also clearly hear the uh, injectors leaking. So moving on, first thing you wanna do is get the intake manifold off. This is a two liter EcoBoost. Therefore, the intake manifold is held on with uh, 10 millimeter bolts. One right there, one inside of there, one down in there, one right there, and one down in there. Two liter Duratec has one extra bolt on the bottom. Regardless of which engine you have, you do want to take the intake hose off the throttle body. The Duratec is up here. Disconnect any sensors that you have. You just squeeze in and pull out. Disconnect the purge valve. There's a little locking tab on here. Just spread the ears and that lock comes back. Then go up here. You see that little white thing by my finger? Push down and slide out. I'm just getting everything off the intake manifold, getting it ready to come off. And I am draining out my fresh Mobile One engine oil that I just put in. Because the leaking injector caused liquid fuel to get into the oil and it smells like gasoline. Okay. Don't forget to disconnect the electrical connector on your throttle body. It's back here. Very difficult to see. After you move that uh, red lock back. And then you push down on this portion right here and it slides right off the throttle body. If you've got any wires on the intake manifold, just pop them off out of the way. I am going to proceed here with removing the mounting bolts for the intake manifold. I'm going to take the outer ones off first, and then those, and then the center one, just to evenly detorque it. Be ginger with it because you might forget to disconnect the PCV line right there. It would be advantageous to replace the intake gaskets. They're only like $15 at the dealer for the gaskets, but uh, yeah, I've got this set out to the side here. All right, and here we go. I'm going to pull this stupid carpet out of the way. Okay. Junk. And here we have it, boys, the meat and potatoes and biscuits. Here's your high, high side fuel pressure rail. At this point, I do want to point out that I don't recommend doing this on a hot engine because there still may be uh, fuel pressure in here. Between here and the high pressure pump, this line right here has, could have up to a thousand or more PSI of pressure in there. You want to let this cool down overnight. <laughs> you don't want that to explode in your face. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this uh, high side fuel pressure sensor. Squeeze down on the tab right here. All right, so what I did is I just pushed in, squeezed down on this tab, jiggled it, and it came right out. The next thing I'm gonna do here is disconnect all four fuel injectors. Same type of connector here. This is injector number one. Push in a little bit, push down on that release, and slide back. I have repeated that on all four injectors. I do have a 17 millimeter wrench. I'm going to break this line loose here. Counterclockwise. Woo! This engine has been sitting for a solid day now since I tried to crank it. Let's loosen that off and let it drain out. All right, that's loose. Next thing you want to do here, we'll kind of cover these uh, intake ports up. If you see any uh, dust, rust, and bird crap through here, you want to blow that out before you pull the injectors out. You don't want anything falling into those ports where the injectors go because that goes right into the combustion chambers. All right, so, oh, while we're on that topic, make sure your intake valves are clean. This is a good time to check that. Just shine a light down in here. That's what mine looks like. Pretty dirty. This is one of the most difficult things to get on camera. <laughs> I did clean the intake valves with zip ties chucked up in a grill. I mean, they're slightly better than they were before. Anyway, moving on. We do have five 10 millimeter bolts to break loose. I'm gonna break them loose with this ratchet here. There we go. They don't get super tight. I'll put the torque spec below if anybody wants it. There they are. Now, in theory, I should be able to grab onto this and kind of jiggle it out, but those uh, injectors are stuck in that cylinder head. 
What I've done on all four injectors, right where they go into the cylinder head there, I put a little bit of penetrating oil on all four injectors. I'm pulling out. It's coming out slightly. I'm uh, putting it back in, uh, doing it over here. It's coming out slightly, just knocking it back in, working the seals, breaking them back in a little bit, and uh, working it out that way. Okay, something happened. Oh, okay, the injectors are still in the engine. Make sure to get any of the O-rings out that came off of the injectors. Looks like only one uh, stayed in here on mine. Now I'm left with the fun part of pulling these injectors out of here. <gasps> oh, okay. Wow, dude, that is a dirty injector. Get a cotton swab and clean all that dust, rust, and bird crap out of that hole there for the injectors. All four injectors are out. Had to give them a nice hard pull there. All right, boys, my new injectors came in. I got them off of Rock Auto, they're Bosch. I put just a touch of dielectric on the top O-ring here. However, don't put anything on this bottom Teflon ring. This is what I put on the top one. You're gonna wanna remove these metal clips on your old injectors and put them on the new one. They come off the top like that. And this open area of it right here goes around this locator tab right here. See, kinda like that, and then it goes down. Also, pay attention to this locator tab right here. It has a corresponding notch right here on the fuel rail that it slides into and kind of holds it in place. But uh, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and pop these injectors in. I've got the first ring swapped over there. I've got them all swapped over there. Got the first injector kind of slid up in there. You see that locator? It went into that slot there. And that's how the rest of it looks there. I've got all four injectors in here. Technically, Ford says these clips are one-time use, as well as the fuel rail mounting bolts. But uh, I'm going to risk it here, just reuse them. I think it'll be perfectly fine, and they say that to cover their, their butts. But um, the spec on these bolts here does involve a torque angle, but the threads don't look all stretched out or anything, so I don't think the bolts stretch. So I'll put the torque spec on the screen for these uh, mounting bolts here, as well as in the description. Pushing the rail in little by little each side carefully. Don't break anything. Make sure you take these little caps off the bottom of the injectors that it came with. These things were a pain to get in. I ended up popping the rail off and uh, pushing them down individually. And I did end up putting a little bit of engine oil on that Teflon area. It's just because I didn't have another choice, but that got them in. Just one by one, I just kind of pushed inward like that. And they went about flush. See, that's about where they go, about that deep. And you put them at about that angle there. And I'm going to put the rail on now carefully. Before you tighten anything, make sure that the rail is flush up against the bolt holes. Because that'll ensure that the locators on the injectors here are lined up where they need to go on the rail. All right, slid this right on here. As you can see, it's about flush. I need to look at it a little more. It may not be perfectly flush because you still have that crush collar on the injectors that need to compress down. These right here. On the new injectors, it's a little bit more expanded because it hasn't been crushed down yet. I'm going to run these down by hand, starting with the middle one, the mounting bolts for the fuel rail here. All right, those are uh, torqued down here. I'm going to get the intake manifold back on and continue on. Oh, and yes, I plugged in all the injectors too. I didn't forget that. Don't forget to tighten this line up here. Don't cross-thread it. Be very careful. This is the line that goes from the high pressure pump to the fuel rail. Ford does say that's a one-time use line, but I ah, just got her good and tight. Should be good to go there. All right, guys, if you've got a scan tool like Forescan, I recommend resetting the keep alive memory. But for now, I'm just going to see if it starts up. This will be the first time starting my two liter EcoBoost swap Ford Focus. <laughs> Fingers crossed. All right, let's see here. I'm going to turn the key a few times just to prime the fuel pressure. I'm also going to go ahead and do clear flood mode for a second just to build oil pressure. All right, let's see if she starts up. Nope. <laughs> I'm back. I forgot to plug the throttle body in. I was so excited that I forgot that. This is where you go to reset the keep alive memory under the gear wrench here, uh, PCM reset all adaptations. All right, let's see if she starts up. Oh, 
Well, she's not starting, guys, but I don't hear the injectors leaking anymore, so that's one problem down. All right, guys, I hope this video helps. That's how you replace the injectors on your Ford Focus or Ford Focus ST. You guys have a great day. If you've got any questions, let me know below. I've also got a Facebook and Discord group. Okay.